is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have some brand new wwe action figure customs for you guys and starting things off ladies and freaking oh my god Dolph ziggler's skull is busted wide open starting things off guys we have my boy the demon king finjamin balor finneth balor freaking demon from wrestlemania 35 finn balor looking absolutely fantastic when i first saw it guys i'm gonna be honest with you i remember i think i told you guys that i planned on doing the demon from wrestlemania we all knew that it was coming he was fighting bobby trashley for the intercontinental championship we all planned for it we all knew it was gonna happen and uh i said when the match was booked that i wanted to make the demon from that matchup and here it is when he came out guys i was like oh my god r.i.p man i was like there is no way that i'm gonna be able to do this figure. I, I really do not know how I'm going to do this. I was really struggling with it. And then all of a sudden, I got my top talents, Balor. I had him already prepped, man. Like three days before WrestleMania, I took one of my top talents, Balors. You guys know I have like 12 of them or whatever. I got a lot for Christmas. I pick them up at retail all the time. I had them sitting there. I went ahead and prepped the head. I hollowed up the head so it would be removable so I'd never have to heat it up. Put it on a basic figure, which is what I do. I have like a Dean Ambrose basic figure that I use as the base so I can paint up my heads and you know it's basically like a little uh, like a little mannequin that I can put the head on and paint it up so I had that prepped and ready I had the kick pads off the knee pads off the arms spread out the hands removed I was ready to go man it was prepped and ready to go and after WrestleMania 35 the next day I started to paint on this and um, when I saw the demon at, at WrestleMania I, I literally I think I posted something on Instagram and I was like there's no way I can do it but here we are in the flesh WrestleMania 35 demon Finn Balor and I think that it came out all right. I think that I did okay. I'm pretty happy with it. A lot of people seem to love it on Instagram, and it uh, gave me a lot of confidence here. And you guys can see we got the back, uh, d the demon graphic on the back of his, uh, on the back of him there. Um, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it overall. I think it's pretty solid. Um, there's one thing that I want to do. I want to continue the stuff on the back of the head right here. Maybe uh, continue those teeth. Finish off the teeth at the top, or the teeth at the top of the head there. But uh, this was very challenging. This is completely hand painted. There are no decals on this figure. It took me a lot of hours. I'm not going to lie to you. It took me a lot of hours since the end of WrestleMania 35 till uh, I finished it yesterday afternoon. And so it took me maybe... I don't know, probably 12 hours of work. I can't, I can't exactly remember, but I didn't really sit there and count it, but it did take me a while. I'm not going to lie. Between this, filming the Rumble, filming other videos and all that good stuff, it definitely took me a minute, but here it is in the flesh. I really like the way the chest graphic came out. I'm happy with that. He's got teeth under here. He's got some other stuff going on. Really just detailed uh, work going in on this, and it's, it's kind of insane how much detail it went into this. This is the first time we've ever seen teeth like on the sides of the figure. We've never seen that. We saw these at SummerSlam, the red armbands. I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to be that way every time. We saw the same knee pads, the same trunks, and the same arm, and uh, he doesn't have the little hand teeth designs that he had at SummerSlam, but the same arm wristbands, the same trunks, and the same knee pads and kick pads were worn at, uh, at SummerSlam when he took on Trash Corbin. So, it's going to be interesting to see the next time we see the Demon. Is he going to be wearing the same thing? The head scan's pretty similar to that SummerSlam uh, attire as well. It's got sort of a Darth Maul look to it. It's not exactly the same as SummerSlam, but it's very similar. The red lines actually go down onto the neck, and that's something that they didn't do at SummerSlam. But the, the rest of the demon paint is completely different. You remember at SummerSlam, he had like a big tongue. He had, you know, the, the teeth on the top. He had the teeth going down the bottom. There was no teeth on the sides. And on the back, he had like that little hole graphic with the teeth in it. But this time, he actually has like a green, blue, yellow, red monster. He's got the teeth at the top. He's got you know the the demon mouth open there and i am overall happy with it i i enjoy it a lot i really enjoy it i was happy to do this now that i've finished this one i guess i can get started on seth freaking rollins so uh i'm happy about that universal champion seth rollins both of my boys bringing home titles in their respective title matches from wrestlemania but i would love to know your comments down below guys what do you think of the finn balor i'm really happy with it, it looks freaking sweet nasty particles and it's going to go perfectly up on the balor shelf so there is finn balor the demon 
Demon King from WrestleMania 35. The next figures that we have, guys, are some commissions. These are some commissions that I've been working on. This is for my boy TJ from Undisputed Brotherhood. We have a Johnny Gargano custom from NXT TakeOver New Orleans, I do believe, from last year. On the back there, you can see it says Johnny Wrestling. You got the blue going on, the orange, silver, and white. It's obviously not finished. We got some kick pad designs to do. I got to add the skyline to the kick pads. I got to add the Johnny Gargano logos here. There's supposed to be some blood splatter over here that says Live or DIY going down onto the kick pads. So we still have a bunch to do to this, but I did start working on these. Pretty happy with the result thus far. Haven't sealed it up, haven't done anything like that, so I gotta be careful with it when I'm, you know, looking at it and showing it off to you guys. We have some other customs for Undisputed Brotherhood. We have my boy Dolph Ziggler right here. Remember when I picked up the figure in that massive box of uh, WWE figures that we got from him? If you guys missed that video, go check it out on the channel. But he said that he hated the Elite 48 Dolph Ziggler, and I couldn't agree more. I'm really not a big fan of that attire. But he said to acetone off the dots, which we've done here. We acetoned all those polka dots off. Off, off the trunks as well and then uh, this logo was red and white and he said to repaint it so I did a pink color I thought pink would match perfect for Dolph Ziggler so we got the pink look with the white outline white DZ crew on there and I'm sure that TJ will like this a lot better than the red and white so he can use this Ziggler in his pick fed so Dolph Ziggler's completely done I just got to seal it up and then we have the last figure that I've done so far for him we still have a Cody Rhodes we still have a Marty Skrull we still have a Finn Balor to do and there may be another figure over there. I'm not sure. I can't I can't remember with all the different customs I'm still working on. Um, I have a lot of commissions that I'm working on at the moment as well, so try to get those done in the next few days. But uh, here is a 2018 Money in the Bank Seth Rollins. He wanted to take his WrestleMania Toys R Us cash and exclusive Seth Rollins and turn it into that updated attire. So I painted the knee pads. We added the gray to the side panels. We added the belt buckle over the SR logo, and then we added the gold trim to the kick pads. And you guys have seen mine of this before, so there's really nothing different. I'm also probably going to add some chest hair here and uh, he, he removed the hands that's why it's handless. He, he uh, went ahead and removed all the hands to all the figures that way that uh, I guess he could hold on to them and I wouldn't have to remove them and all that good stuff. But that is it for Seth Rollins. I gotta add in the chest hair. The painting is completely done on this guy. I haven't sealed him either. None of his figures are sealed yet but uh, they're not going to chip around just holding them as, as long as I'm not you know messing around and posing them around and stuff like that. So that's the good thing about Ceramco paint. That's the paint that I used. Every uh, bit of paint that was used used with this Finn Balor is Ceramcoat or Citadel Air. I don't think I used anything else. All of this is Ceramcoat. Uh, all the white on here is Citadel Air. Um, all of this on the back is Ceramcoat. So Ceramcoat's a really excellent paint, guys. All of this white down here on the teeth is Citadel Air as well. And yeah, that is pretty much it. All of the customs that I have for you guys. Got all the, the again, hand painted, no, no decal work, none of that. And I'm happy with it. We got so we, we got the WrestleMania 35 Finn. We got the Money in the Bank 2018 Seth. We have the Fantasy Attire Pink and White Dolph Ziggler. And then we have the NXT TakeOver New Orleans Johnny Gargano. So that is pretty much it for all the custom figures I have for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, comment down below what you think of the Finn Balor. I love it. Again, I'm, I'm working on Seth Rollins now. I'm going to take one of my top talents or something, start painting in all that gold. I, I'm pretty sure the Seth Rollins should be much easier to do than the WrestleMania 35 ballot. This was very tedious, very detailed. Took a ton of hours to get all of this paint in here to get it ready to go, but um, Seth Rollins should be a lot easier. It's just a lot of stripe work, and I'm going to have to go slow because you guys know how gold paint is. Over black, especially, you got to go over it multiple times. You got to make sure that you get it in there clean. You got to, you know, square it up and everything because um, if I had an extra one of these, it would be a lot easier because uh, you could use these gold lines to sort of track where you are since these are pretty symmetrical you could use these gold lines so if you guys have a cut cash in money in the bank Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins you could easily use this as the base to uh, connect your your belt to connect the M pattern on the back to connect the belt buckle and everything with the Wrestlemania 35 Rollins that would probably be a lot easier than taking a top talents which I'm probably going to have to do in order to make it because I don't have an extra Toys R Us exclusive and I actually want to get that custom done as soon as possible but I'm also working on the Rumble I'm also doing other things and I'm trying to get that out as soon as possible and uh, yeah so thank you guys so much for watching that is going to do it for today's video again comment down below what you think of all the customs subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.